When you hear the name Godzilla, what comes to mind? A force of nature, a hero, a destroyer, a fighter, a warrior, one of the guys that killed Superman, but mainly a monster. We're not gonna talk about that today. Hi, I'm Miranda. Today we're gonna talk about So I've been in a Godzilla mood lately, mainly because I feel as if the franchise and Godzilla himself is finally getting the recognition it deserves. Like with Minus One, he finally got nominated for an Oscar, and it was the best performing Japanese Godzilla movie in America. But it is so crazy that there was a point in life where this franchise that is so old and big was not doing too well. It was getting so bad that Toho wanted to put our big lizard boy to rest. But because of Godzilla's 50th anniversary that was coming up, Toho wanted to celebrate the franchise and go out with a bang, bang people. people. Whoa, 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 what? So what did we get? Wow, 50 years of Godzilla? And this is the finale? I wonder how it was received. Huh. Look, Godzilla Final Wars might be one of the most controversial films in the fanbase due to its mixed reception with the fans. But here's the thing. I genuinely enjoy this movie. I've not watched all Godzilla films, by the way. But I do know that there are two types of Godzilla movies. You can have a Godzilla movie that shows you the horrors and aftermath of war. And how we as a society would react or what we can do about it. Or... Yeah, so if Godzilla Final Wars is just that, but on steroids. And I love it. I know this movie's not perfect, but we're gonna first go over. Yeah, for a Godzilla movie, he's barely in this film. You might ask yourself, how long is he in this movie for? So let's find out. It says. Oh, 12 minutes? Wait, how long is the movie then? Two hours. Another thing, the acting. So this movie is in both Japanese and English, and there are scenes where it's basically just Tekken somehow. How does it feel to be the head of the Mishima Zaibatsu? Bro, that is a bear. How did you even understand that? And I can forgive Don Fry as Captain Douglas Gordon, because he was at least entertaining. There are two things you don't know about the Earth. One is me. And the other is Godzilla. But there are some things that we should leave behind. Hey, so quick note before I play this scene. Oh, this is the highest quality I could get this in. And also, none of this is edited. Hey, person that's watching this video, I got a question for you. Do you like this theme? What? You don't like it? How about we hear it one more time? You don't like it more? Well, too bad. You're gonna hear it so many times throughout this film, and it's the last thing you hear before the credits. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, for the next thing, it's kind of controversial in my opinion, but I feel as if there's too much kaiju in this movie. I mean, it's cool seeing Godzilla fight all these known monsters, but some of them just appear out of nowhere. This movie takes place around the world, and we get scenes of some Toho monsters terrorizing different places of Japan or America, but Hedera's in this movie, and he's in it for like 30 seconds. Like, all these other monsters had cool intro scenes, except for Hedera for some reason. He just came out of nowhere and just said, <laughs> Room for one more? And then he explodes. And for the final 
no bad thing about this movie. It's that. They do not put Jet Jaguar in this movie. He's the best character of all time. Did you know that he's the best Godzilla type? All right, let's go to. So this movie is bad shit insane. Oh, sorry. You might have thought that I put a random tokusatsu scene on. No, this is actually in the movie. These are two of the main characters. Speaking of main characters, this man right here, he's the main villain. And that was also the best character. I knew that tuna head wasn't up to much. Also, if the outfits feel kind of familiar with you, Yoji Shinkawa, known for his work on the Metal Gear series, helped design the human character's outfits and the Gotengo. It's also why Metal Gear Solid 3 has a big Godzilla reference in it for some reason. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? Of course! Everybody loves Godzilla. Speaking of character designs, every kaiju in this movie, except Mothra, had updated designs. And it was the first time we've seen some of these characters in a while. What I'm going to talk about is Gigan. And, you know, this design is so good. Like, he looks more alien now. And let's talk about Godzilla's new design. Out of all the suitmation Godzillas, I think this one is my favorite. It may not be my favorite Godzilla design. I feel MonsterVerse, Shin, and Minus One look way better. But this one has cat ears. Another good thing about this movie, Zilla dies. Yep, that's it. I really didn't like 1998. Also, this is my first Godzilla movie that I've seen Vanilla in, and I like him. Fuck you if you think he's a bad character. To me, this movie is great. The thing is, I don't expect every Godzilla movie to be a message about something, like the original Shin Minus One, you know, those types. But sometimes I just want to be entertained. This Godzilla movie is like the Spider-Man 3 of the franchise. Like, it's so bad it's good, but you could tell that the people that worked on this movie had a lot of love and passion when they're making it. If you're a Godzilla fan, you have to watch this movie. It's like a trip somehow. And if I were to rate this movie, I would give it a 1 out of 10 because there's no fucking Jet Jaguar.